Good evening and welcome to the promotion for the class of 2024. Promotion is an awesome time of the year where we as your teachers and mentors and your parents say to you students that you are ready, both academically and in maturity for the next stage of life, high school. Thanks to the rigors of distance learning, the difficulties of living in a pandemic, and being cooped up with your family for the past three months, you are even more than ready. So well done, we knew you could do it. I wanna take a moment to thank the teachers with a renewed appreciation for the job they've done for the nearly the last decade, for the countless hours and immeasurable love that they've poured into these young people. You guys rock, we appreciate you, you're superheroes. Thank you for all that you do. We are glad you could join us. Please enjoy the ceremony. It is now my pleasure to welcome middle school chap chaplain, Ms. Jackie Treviso to lead us in our opening prayer. Please bow your heads and pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful day and for this class. I pray that you will be with everyone so that they can remain as healthy as possible. I pray that you will help everybody see the bright side in this situation and that you will help them to remember that you have a plan and even if it seems like they don't know what's going to happen, you know what's going to happen and you will take care of them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good evening. My name is Evan Gerlich. I'm Vice President. And can you please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Eighth grade and middle school in general had some amazing memories. Here are a few people's favorites. Everyone, my favorite middle school memory is probably on the DC trip on the way to the Rocky Stairs. We, had, we didn't really know where we were going until they blasted Rocky music, and Miss Mason came down the aisle swinging her fist pretending to box, and it was such a fun and amazing experience. My favorite middle school memory is when Katie and I on the Catalina trip both woke up early with Miss Kime and woke everybody up by singing Rise and Shine and Give God the Glory. My favorite middle school memory was going on the DC trip and being able to spend time with friends and teachers. One of my favorite middle school memories was when we were in chapel and the teachers just decided to get rid of all the plans and they decided that we're going to watch Veggie Tales for chapel and they gave us all popcorn and water and it was a ton of fun. It was a blast. Hi. Um, so my favorite middle school memory is probably a continuous thing throughout all the years. Um, and it was probably just um, developing relationships and kind of like seeing them change. Um, it's crazy how much uh, some relationships have changed from 6th to 8th grade or even 7th to 8th grade or even, to be honest, beginning of 8th grade to now. Um, I think that's really cool. My favorite memory from 8th grade was on the DC trip when we were all driving back to the hotels after being in sketchy downtown Philadelphia on Halloween night. And we were blasting Thriller in the bus and everybody was singing along. And like Miss Stoltzis and Miss Mason and Mr. Johnson were all dancing and it was just the best time ever. My favorite middle school memory was playing volleyball and all of the fun practices with Coach Pastor. I have several good memories of my time in middle school and it's so hard to choose just one. A few that come to mind are hanging out with friends at football games, the time when Carl won the ugly sweater contest and then he jumped into the splits, and learning the dances for etiquette. Those would definitely be my favorite memories from middle school. So my favorite middle school memory begins at the end of my seventh grade year when I'm elected middle school president. It becomes kind of a running joke with my friends that I'm Mr. President and I need a secret service. So fast forward all the way up to the DC trip on our Broadway night when we're all suited up, I thought it'd be a funny idea to give all my friends these shades to wear as, and be my secret service that night. So this is my picture of me in my secret service that night. One of my favorite middle school memories of the DC trip. Like, it was awesome to just grow closer with a lot of people and a lot of the new people too. And um, grow closer with the teachers and with the parents. And it was an awesome experience to be able to have. And the memorials on the DC trip, it got a chance for me to really think and appreciate what our country has become. 
My favorite memory from middle school was traveling to Washington, D.C. More specifically, I think the highlights of that trip for me were going to see Phantom of the Opera and traveling to the Amish country. My favorite middle school memory was hanging out with friends during the Washington, D.C. trip. One of my favorite middle school memories is when we were in Amish country and that, that was just really cool and they got like the milkshakes and things and another one was when I was, uh, we were all in the um, auditorium in, before we went to New York and we were all doing the plays, that was a lot of fun. My favorite m memory from middle school was going to the DC trip because it was fun to have that experience with my friends and also I've never been to New York. Thank you to all the teachers who have helped us during our time in middle school. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you.
Well, that was awesome. Thank you very much to Mrs. Sheree McCrindle for putting together that slideshow. That was fantastic. Last year, Push Ridge Christian Academy prayerfully considered our hopes and dreams for our students and their future selves. We used that time to develop our portrait of a graduate. The portrait displays hopes, not expectations. Guidelines for mentoring, not goals to achieve. From God's word, we've discerned key virtues that make up our hopes for these graduates. This year, we've spent a great deal of our chapel time engaging in these virtues. We often reminded you that Jesus Christ's free gift of salvation offers us grace necessary to persevere in the pursuit of these virtues. We also stress that virtues don't draw God's attention to us, but the cultivation of virtues helps orient and govern our actions, thoughts, passions, and conduct back towards God. During the distance learning phase, all eighth grade students were given the opportunity to select one male and one female student that have demonstrated the virtuous attributes of the Push Ridge Christian Academy's portrait of a graduate. While only God knows the heart and our sinful nature means that no human can be virtuous all the time, these students are being recognized because they made the conscious decision to cultivate virtuous habits. Throughout the school year, these students have offered kindness and compassion when needed. Their words and actions have courageously pointed towards Christ. They have stood up for the right thing with integrity defending others, not just their friends. They have witnessed trials and difficulties, hard times, and have persevered, all while providing support and encouragement to those around them. Now, here's the really awesome part. The majority of you guys were all spoken about by your peers, which means that we're doing our job well, and so are you. And thanks to God, we can all move in the direction of virtue. Well done. Additionally, there were a variety of specific examples of courage, service, stewardship, truth-seeking, and justice-keeping mentioned by you all for four young ladies and four young men in particular. These names repeatedly came up throughout the selection process. The students most recognized by their peers in displaying the virtuous attributes are Josh Carroll, Shirlene Eggleston, Sierra Gifford, Madison Grizzle, Chase Hull, Drew Meddy, Kit Siri, and Mikey Urias. Well done. And now I'd like to introduce one of your peer recognized students, your class president, Mr. Chase Hull, to speak, followed by a message from middle school chaplain and peer recognized student, Ms. Shirley Eggleston. Enjoy. Headmaster Cooney, Principal Capero, Assistant Principal Rafus faculty, staff, parents, and my fellow classmates. It is an honor to sit before you here today in my home office of all places as we bid farewell to our middle school years. As I started to prepare for my speech today, I began to reflect back over the last three years, thinking about all the memories that I will carry on with me for the rest of my life. Memories like Mrs. Stamba's quirky singing over the intercom every morning and how she encouraged us through chapel to be ourselves and learn to be secure in who God made us to be. The hysterical laughs we shared with Mrs. Hart as we prepared for our sixth grade Shakespeare play and how we learned the art of dramatic recovery when you forget your lines during an entire scene. Hearing Miss Kind's voice ring loudly through the campgrounds on Catalina Island as she sang her notorious rise and shine wake up call. The fun we had traveling around the school brandishing our custom made armor of God and the days we marched around PRCA, playing our instruments loudly as we carried the Ark of the Covenant. How Miss Solstice was able to teach us about slavery and World War I in a way that caused a deep sense of patriotism and humility, but also added some fun elements, like when we flipped over the desks and launched crumpled pieces of paper at each other to simulate trench warfare. I'm happy to report that the Allies won. How Miss Mason began to really challenge us through Bible class to make our faith our own and not that of our parents. And also her infamous air guitar playing as we sang at the top of our lungs on our bus during our DC trip. For those of you that missed it, I gotta say, it was pretty epic. And of course, the memory of the coronavirus and the drastic impact it had on our everyday lives. But I don't think my classmates and I will look back on this period of our eighth grade year 
as other middle schoolers might. It was a time of fear and desperation, but rather one of opportunity. Opportunity to learn new technology. How Zoom has become a household name and how we all initially had our struggles, how to mute ourselves, how to raise our virtual hand, Mr. Rafis scheduling Zoom meetings that he didn't show up for. Opportunity to mature as we had to develop discipline and a work ethic to complete three months of school from home with little structure. Opportunity to grow in our personal faith with Christ, to begin to really understand that God is in control, that he will always be there when we need someone to fall back on. To see the reality of a verse like John 16, 33, which says, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So even though our middle school years have come to a close in a way that none of us could have ever possibly imagined, my prayer and hope for our class is that each of us takes the memories and opportunities that God has given us throughout middle school and look forward to the opportunity he sets before us in high school. Opportunity to develop our individual gifts and talents that he has blessed us with, whether that be athletics, academics, or artistic abilities. Opportunity to develop our relationship with him and to discover and run the race that he has set out for each one of us individually. And with that, I say congratulations, eighth grade class of 2020. We've made it. High school, here we come. Thank you. Hello, my fellow classmates and parents. I'm sorry that we are not able to do this in person but at least we are still able to celebrate together. My name is Shirlene Eggleston, and I am one of the chaplains at PRCA. It is my honor and privilege to be speaking to you today. Wow, it feels like we just entered into eighth grade yesterday, but obviously that can't be because our first day of school was 175 days ago. Our eighth grade school year went by so fast. Even with an unexpected changes which led to an unusual closing to our school year. Now all of us are entering into a new chapter of our lives. I know many of you have known each other since kindergarten, although I did not have the privilege of knowing all of you because I arrived to PRCA in the seventh grade. It did not take long to know many of you, but I have loved getting to know all of you because you are funny, quirky, and just fun to hang around with. Arriving at Push Ridge last year, I was known as the new girl, and it wasn't my first time being the new student since it was my seventh school. Yet, the one fact that sets Push Ridge apart from every other school I've been to is that I felt welcomed here. Push Ridge also has amazing teachers, and I've never experienced in my life teachers that actually want to get to know you and educate you in such a wonderful way. In fact, the first teacher I had the honor of meeting was Miss Kime. I enjoyed Miss Kime's class so much. She educated all of us in a fun way, and she has impacted my life in a wonderful way, along with so many other teachers. I hope that all of you recognize what a privilege it is to be at this school and a blessing to have amazing teachers to go along with it. As we proceed into high school, these four next years together are going to fly by. They will be filled with joy, laughter, heartache, and several changes, including different expectations and new responsibilities. Let's face it, it won't be a walk in the park. Some of you may be a little nervous, some of you may be a little excited, and some of you a little bit of both. Quite honestly, there is a lot we don't know yet. We have a lot of questions and learning to do over these next four years. As we move forward, we don't just move forward as students, we move forward as soldiers for Christ. We will undoubtedly face trials and temptations we have not seen or experienced yet. However, we have a mighty God on our side to help and guide us on this journey. He also give, gave us one another for help and encouragement. In Joshua 1, 9, God commands Joshua to be strong and courageous do not be afraid or troubled. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I will leave you with one more final thought. In high school, it may feel impossible at times, but we have to remember,
God will be with us every step of the way. Now, to the class of 2024, let's leave it better than we found it. As we look toward our freshman year of high school, one of our teachers, Ms. Radke, has some words of truth and wisdom to share with Thank us. Thank you, Shirlene. Congratulations, eighth graders, on reaching such an important milestone in your life. I'm especially happy to get to talk to you for your eighth grade promotion um, because you guys were my last seventh grade class that I taught and you'll always be somewhat special to me. I'm also happy as Dean of Students to get to welcome you to the high school as ninth graders. But before I do, I'd like to share with you a few words of wisdom that you might need in your high school years. It comes from the first book of Psalms, just the first few verses. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in season. Its leaf does not wither, and all that he does he prospers. So there's three takeaways um, from that that I'd like for you to think about. The first one is, we want you to prosper. I'm speaking for all of Quish Ridge in this, that our goal was always to help you to prosper. And I think you found that in these last few months, that you can prosper in adversity. There will be some hard times ahead in high school, but I think you know, I think you've learned that you can prosper even in that. And the second point that I'd like for you to think about is loving God's word. It says his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night. So in your high school years, you're going to need to remember God's word and think about it often and use that in the hard times ahead. And then the third point is, in contrast to what it says here, blesses the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. The third thing that you're going to need to do in your high school years is to walk in the counsel of the godly. So I'd like for you to look right now around the room, wherever you're at. These are your godly counselors. God puts you in your family for a reason, and it's not so you can say goodbye when you get to the ninth grade. You're going to need your family and your friends for godly counselors. There's another group that I'd like to remind you of who are going to be here for you in your high school years for godly counsel, and that's your middle school teachers. You've made relationships with a lot of teachers in these years, myself included, and we're here to help you. We're here to counsel you. We're here to encourage you in these, few, in these high school years ahead. So congratulations, eighth graders. I'm looking forward to seeing you in your ninth grade year. Thank you. Garrison Harold Abrams. Jocelyn Joy Barr. Soren Elijah Beeson. Natalia Bensa. David Sampson Booker, Dante Philip Life Brooks, Katie Grace Bushelman, Rebecca Calloway, Anna Sophia Camorlinga, Natanya Careon, Caroline Faith Carroll, Joshua David Carroll, Juan Carlos Castaño, Andres Javier Castro, Jasmine Rebecca Connor, Riley Faith Costal, Angeli Faith Crooks, Liam Davis. Cole Denny, Alexander Craig DeWitt, Keegan James Dorschner, Shirlene Natalia Eggleston, Tyler Jesse Furbear, Nathan Funk, Luke 
R. Garcia, Evan Rodney Gorillic, Sierra Jade Gifford, Amelia Jean Marie Gordon, Jaylee Marie Graham, Madison Grizzle, Jack Ryan Hansen, Chloe Elizabeth Harrison, Nicholas Clayton Hart, Kayla Ann Henninger, Luke Aiden Hernandez, Ariana Nicole Hicks, Chase Ryan Howell, Tyler Robert Holcomb, Samantha Olivia Hadegi, Barrett Carl Jenkins, Britton William Johnston, William Michael Joyce, Wansung Daniel Young, Hannah Lourdes Kiniston, Brooke Elizabeth Lee, Logan Daniel Leister, Emma Daniela Leva, Andrew Lustenberger, Salvador Romero Macias, Donovan McGeehy, Benjamin Reese Mejias, Andrew Scott Metti, Derek Lee Nikotenko, Gabrielle Olive, Ava Shiloh Parker, Peyton Holland Parker, Makeda Mabrate Peyton, Campbell Noel Phillips, Montgomery Rain Pinio, Morgan Hamilton Query, Blake James Reed, Brandon Evan Raylander, Natalie Jane Rhodes, Brandon Joseph Rhodes, Brandon Michael Rollman, Ellery Reese Schmidtke, Kayla Rebecca Siri, Brennan Matthew Seifert, Alexandria Eve Seitz, Noah Tarango, Brandon James Taylor, Jackson Cooper Thomas, Britton Lee Tracy, Christina Marie Triberg, Jacqueline C. Treviso, Michael Keith Urias, Kayla Vandenbranden, Anna White, Tegan Wilfert, Zane Young. Hi, I'm Miss Stoltzfus. And I'm Mr. Nelson, and we teach eighth grade humanities. Parents, at this time, your now high schooler is going to come give you a special gift just for you that we've been working on in humanities class. This has been a tradition for many years. We hope it blesses you and that you feel honored. You are your child's first teacher, and tonight is a celebration of you as much as it is a celebration of your student. In a few moments, we will be playing the traditional hymn, Be Thou My Vision. As you listen to this song, take time to read the letter that your student has written for you. Students, go ahead and give the letter to your parents now. 
Please stay tuned after the hymn for a closing prayer and a message from Mr. Rafis regarding instructions for the drive through campus promotion celebration. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of gathering together and technology that can allow us to gather together, even though we can't meet face to face, face to face with this pandemic. I thank you for the people who've set this up, like the administrators and the staff at PRCA. I thank you for their hard work and time and effort poured into our lives as students so that we can still do well and learn about what you've given us. I pray for the virus itself, that you would protect us and keep us safe from it and continue to keep us safe from it as we go through summer. I pray that you would keep, make us, keep us smart and help us be w wise about what we should do with our time. I pray that we would grow in you and grow of knowledge in you and grow to love you more throughout this pandemic. And even though it's super hard and the times are rough, that we would know that you're still there and that you're an everlasting father and everything else will fade away. I pray that we would go into this summer and have a great summer, even though we may have to stay indoors. And I pray that next year as we go into high school, that we would be more like you and that we would excel well and do well in our learning and as students. Amen. Congratulations, eighth grade. Have a great summer. Thank you for joining us. This now concludes 
the video portion of our promotion ceremony. We look forward to joining us on campus from 7 to 8 p.m. tonight. Remember that you're coming in through the North Gate. That's the side with the baseball field and the new Dutch Brothers. And remember, drive slowly on campus, but please don't stop. We've been collecting rattlesnakes since the spring started and we're releasing them all tonight. Please honor our one vehicle per family request. Stay inside your vehicles at all times. Remember the rattlesnakes. And we encourage sunroofs and convertibles to show off our new freshmen. See you tonight.